total knee arthroplasty after surgery for tibial plateau fractures. 10 years after tibial plateau fracture surgery, only 7.3% of patients had a total knee arthroplasty. That's about 5.3 times increase in likelihood compared with the matched group from the general population. Older patients, patients with severe fractures, fractures with malalignments, patients with higher comorbidities, bicondylar fractures, and meniscal repair. These patients more likely will need total knee arthroplasty after repair of their tibial plateau fractures. Displaced intraarticular tibial plateau fractures were considered a risk factor for the development of arthritis and are usually treated by open reduction internal fixation. The rate of total knee arthroplasty is low after open reduction and internal fixation of tibial plateau fracture. It's about 7.3% at 10 years after fixation. This low rate of future total knee arthroplasty explain why we shouldn't use surgical approaches that may be needed for future total knee arthroplasty, such as a single midline incision, and justifying it by the fact that we will need future total knee salvage surgery. At 10 years, only 7.3% will have the surgery, so we don't need incision that may or may not help us in the future for surgery that the patient may or may not need it. We will need incisions to help us in fixing the fracture now. So it can be medial and lateral incisions, or it can be lateral and posterior medial incision, or combination of any of these incisions. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.